BYD, is reportedly planning to expand Uber subsidies across Western countries, including Australia and New Zealand. But what happens if we want to stop Chinese vehicles from flooding the market? Well, China recently announced tariffs on Chinese EV imports, and they immediately responded, China that is, by launching an investigation into Canada's canola imports. Ah, been there. <laughs> and if it weren't for all of these subsidies, it's clear no one would be buying them because Volvo announced during the week that they're canning plans to go completely electric by 2030. So uh, clearly what they've got to do here, Lucy, is find any way possible to, to get these vehicles out there. And much like we've seen before with solar panels, you get cheap Chinese crap that is manufactured and essentially dumped upon Western countries like Australia for dirt cheap because they just need to get it out of the Chinese market. And then, in the end, we're, we're left stuck with, 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 with it. We're stuck with all this terrible... Uh, bad for the environment. We've got to do something about it, but we've got millions and millions of the things. Yeah. Well, we're in a unique position in Australia because we don't actually manufacture the vehicles now. So if we were to introduce a tariff like what the USA mm. and, and the EU have, it kind of wouldn't really make sense. But then you look at the other manufacturing parts that you also need to consider in all of this, like the batteries, the maintenance, the labour and all of that, that Australia will be looking to, to have a stranglehold on, right? But here's that word stranglehold that I'm using, where China have that, the CCP, what would it be if they weren't coming in and threatening some kind of trade war or an issue if we weren't subscribing to whatever the, it was that they were selling? So it's a really interesting situation and we know that the Albanese government is always curtailing to China and that we'll not be in a real position to kind of have a position on this, really. So I find it quite fascinating um, and where this is all... I just want to know, the irony is would, would you get rid of your Ford Falcon? Oh God, the is it Falcon. No, the Falcon wouldn't. is doing my Falcon. Falcon. There's another problem with the Falcon, apart no from... No more German cockroaches? The, apart from the... Uh, no more German cockroaches. That has been done. Went to the yeah. electric sky. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alan, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and um, But, yeah, no, I scraped it in the Aldi car park. We all knew about that and I'm sure that's been keeping you up at night. Now there's something wrong with the engine. Like, it's just... it's I don't know. There's <sighs> something just... It's killing me. And so, so you're you know what? I'll take anything. I would take a push bike <laughs> at this point. Over but the do you want a BYD? Do you want a BYD? Well, the irony here, of course, is that the argument for Australia introducing electric vehicle targets and um, emissions limits for other cars is that Australia was becoming a dumping ground for all the old gas-guzzling clunkers from Europe and the USA and other markets because they had tougher regulations than we do, so they were coming here. And now it appears that <laughs> we're becoming a dumping ground for electric vehicles that they can't get rid of <laughs> in other jurisdictions. Why don't we there. manufacture so, our own cars over here? Like, would, that's yeah, a genuine would, question. Be, but we did do it until... It was, like so years ago. Okay. it was so expensive. It is prohibitively this expensive will and fail. It This will fail because the issue with electric of... vehicles is not the price. I know they're expensive, but that's not the price. People don't want the, it. The reason why Volvo and Toyota and VW are cutting down on their production of electric vehicles is people have worked out exactly. that they're hopeless. Yeah. Uh, the problem yeah. is refuelling. Yeah. You've got a kept petrol car, you refuel in three minutes. The minimum it takes to refuel uh, an electric vehicle is half an hour. You, you give up half, and you have to do it Every day. Yeah. Not once a week, but every day. And that's so everyone's worked that out. No one wants them anymore. And, and that's why people are going to hybrids, right? There, yes. there is there is an answer in front of us. There is. If only if only we could just go where the market tells us to go. Strange idea. I right haven't over. seen this the... much controversy around someone going electric since Bob Dylan at the Newport Folk Festival. <laughs> 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 <laughs>